We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds enter today's matchup with an 11-game winning streak on the line. They'll try to notch their 12th straight next. Darren McCowan, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Batting James, turn. and he could Go give his guys an early lead Eddie. if he can come through here. James. Hey, keep it going, stay hot, huh? First pitch on its way. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three-run blast to deep center here. 24 home runs for him on the season as the Reds move out in front now, three to nothing. Well, d -Row, you know, they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the basket. What? Now batting, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Boy, this guy right here in that last A.B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark, but a guy like this, if he has on, to hit it out the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. The relay to second now, but he's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Now it'll be the four-hole hitter, the Kyle field. Lewis. Over one here in the early going. Lewis. Hey, let's go, kid. Now let's the 0-2 right pitch. And the runner's breaking for third. Get out, get out, he swings out. and misses. Throw down. And he will be nailed at third. Stepping into the box, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with Eddie. another big hit right here. First pitch of the at-bat. Swung on and crushed. Everyone just stands there and watches it fly. A solo shot here to left, his second of the game, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Hub up Luis Arias. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Arias. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he goes the other way with it, high and deep down the left field line. And this one is gone. A home run. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your line. Standing in, Eddie James, and their runners at the corners now. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Out in front of it, strike one. Hey, drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. All right, one time right here. The 0-1 on its way. <laughs> Hit 
hard hit toward the hole. And that is through into left field, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Hey, that makes that it a 9-5 ball job. game. So he's able to come through here with two away, and that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Now at the play, Kyle Lewis, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Throw over to first, and he'll dive back in. Here's the 0-1. Runners on the move for second. Skied into straightaway right. Hard. Bellinger's under it. And the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. So in now for Chicago, number 33. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Reds are on top, 9 to 5. Another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. Cincinnati posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Darren McCowan with his fourth win this season. Adbert Alzale struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Nine runs, 14 hits, no errors. They left nine runners on. We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. Here it's the second of this three-game set between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds have played excellent baseball of late. They'll try to bring their win streak to a baker's dozen next. Trevor Bauer is on the mound for the Reds in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. At the plate, Eddie James, and he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. Hey, stay hot up there, huh? Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On, and he Paul, turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 26 for him on the season. And it's given Cincinnati a two-to-nothing lead. Obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. All set for the start of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop. Javier Baez. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. James comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Oh. 
Stepping in, Eddie James. He hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. And this will be fouled away. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Here's the 0-1. Travis, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Line drive, base hit to right. I'll find it, find it, find it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, give the hitter credit right there. He was ready for that heater 0-2. But, Dan, I question the pitch selection. You, you know, sometimes as a pitcher, you don't want to give a good hitter the same pitch back to back to back, three pitches in a row. His thinking might have been right there. He had gone off speed two pitches in a row. Maybe if he had him set up for the fastball, he guessed wrong. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that... Digging in, Clyde clear. Number 32. The 1-1. One, one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Ready for another shot now. Eddie now James. He singled his last Eddie. time up. Eddie. First pitch of the yeah. at bat on its way. Two runs, five hits, right, and no errors now. in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Really? Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run, and he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a three nothing cushion. Your attention, please. We it for Chicago. Number 57. Jorge. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is right there. One gone. Eddie James will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Line drive to left. Tomas is there, and he has it for the out. Well, he hit that ball pretty. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Tyrone Taylor. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Hit in the air out toward left. James is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. Tonight's game comes to an end, 5-1 to one, the final score. The Reds jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Trevor Bauer with his fourth win this season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 16 men on base. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds try to lock down their 14th consecutive win. Coming up next. Francisco Morales is on the mound for the Reds in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? 
Hey, this guy loves pitching at home. He's had a little bit of a rough go pitching on the road so far this season, but he's pitched really well in his home environment, and I'm sure he's glad and comfortable that he's pitching at home in this one. Hopefully, he can string together another strong home start. Batting third, the left fielder. In now for the Eddie. Reds, Eddie James, hey. as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's ready now, the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And now let's hold on a second here. It looks like the umpires are going to converge. And there may be some question as to whether or not that was really a foul ball. You can see him pointing down the right field line. And I would not be a bit surprised if they decide to go inside to have a look at this. And indeed they will do that. Okay, the umpires have emerged from the dugout with the ruling and it is going to remain a foul ball so they had it right the first time but if there's any doubt go inside and hey, get this thing it, right he's ready here's the 0 1 there's a line drive and he's swinging it as good as anyone folks the streak will continue he's got a base hit and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. You know, Dero, I'm not sure if you're one of those superstitious guys, but a 13-game hitting streak seems like a pretty good number for this guy. Yeah, that's the old Baker's dozen right there. We're almost looking at two weeks of just sleeping like a baby. I can't be—you're going to hear me reiterate this throughout this streak. I can't tell you, when you're Batting swinging the bat like this, that's your food tastes better, better your oh. wife gets prettier, everything Ooh. is just working. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. And now the runner's trying for third. Pick up the There's ball, stand right here. On the bag, on the bag. On to first, and the Reds rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. At the plate, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch on its way. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that is off the wall. The relay. The tag, and he's nabbed trying for two. Ready for another chance. Clyde Fleer. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. James has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Hey, one down now, into one the down. box, Luis Arias. Oh, He's 0 for down. 2 in the ballgame so the far. 3-2 pitch. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. A ball that's tearing. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. This has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far. At the plate, Eddie James, already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. So a three run shot to right center field, and that is 27 for him on the year, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still giving him pitches to hit. So standing in, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. 
And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So go, right I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So, I, oh, that's well hit. Deep center field. Looking up is the center fielder. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Two run shot to straightaway center. His second home run of the game as they've cut this deficit down to four. Well, d -Row, you know they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Eddie James. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Kyle Lewis, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a chopper to first might only get one. Scooped up. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Digging in, Austin now Riley. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Riley. Hit out towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. He's trying his hardest to help his guys get back into the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. Well, he didn't even break a sweat in this one. Three pitches, he gets the out, and heads to the clubhouse to celebrate. Can't do much better than that. 10-6, to six, the final score in this game. The Chicago Cubs wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. William Bradford gets the win on the mound his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs, 10 runs.